four. Are you in favor of the adoption of amendment number three as proposed by the planning board for the Hampton zoning ordinance as follows? Amend articles, article eight, multifamily dwellings by adding wording that exempts proposed development within the business seasonal zoning district and the proposed business seasonal, seasonal one zoning district from having to conform with the standards contained in section 8.2.1, recreation area per dwelling unit, section 8.2.2, frontage section 8.2.3, 40 foot building setback section 8.2.4, 25 foot driveways and parking area setback and section 8.2.6, open space buffer. Recommended by the planning board. Is there a motion to open discussion on article four? Moved by Mr. Olson. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Emmerich. Uh, Mr. Olson, would you like to speak to article four? Well, article four, as we put it forth, uh, proposes to allow multifamily development to occur in the business seasonal district that occurs in the business seasonal district to be exempt from the current standards related to the recreational areas, the frontage, 40 foot setbacks, 25 foot driveways and parking setbacks, as well as the required open space buffer. Thank you, Mr. Olson. Anyone else wishing to be heard on article four, Mr. Moody? Art Moody, <clears throat> Jamie Stephan was right. Most of, much of what I said on Article 3 pertains to this article, filling up the lot. It took a long time to get the business seasonal districts to conform with the rest of the town and multifamily setbacks, buffers, side yards, etc. And this wipes it all out. This is a, this is a de-zoning effort by the planning board, just going backwards. And you fill up the lots, and this pertains also to North Beach, High Street North, and it pertains all the way from near the bridge north to Winnicott Road. Now, most people, a lot of people, on the, in the discussion of, the, uh, of this matter, thought that the 80-foot height should go north of where it is going to go. It's more from the Ashworth north when you don't have a lot of residents in back. Uh, this is a drastic cut. The rest of the town will still have to go along with the multi, all these setbacks. And uh, as far as the setback from the building for parking, that's a safety issue. They're eliminating that. And uh, this goes along with that other article. Fill up the lot, have more people, and have more responsibilities for those people, including the evacuation in case of a nuclear plant accident or worse, a terrorist, terrorist attack. Thank you, Mr. Moody. Ms. McNamara. Brendan McNamara, 15 Island Path. Just to clarify on uh, Mr. Moody's statements, this does not extend beyond the proposed business seasonal one zone, which is from the corner of Ashworth Ave down to F Street. Does not go any further than that. It is within the same zone that the prior article mentioned. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McMahon. Mr. Moody. Yes, yes. This article concerns all of the business seasonal zone, including North Beach, miles of, along Ocean Boulevard. Thank you, Mr. Moody. Seeing no one else on article, Mr. Jones. Mr. Moderator, I'd note that the state legislature had just passed a law which we're apparently putting into effect, which says that the laws that we're proposing for zoning don't have to actually be on the warrant. So the voters do not have on their ballot the actual wording of the, of the uh, law being proposed. And this is an example of the confusion that reigns. We see up on the screen one paragraph. 
But if we look at the referring document, which that paragraph doesn't even reference that there is a referring document for the voters to consider, you would think that was the entire law. But it isn't the law at all. It's intended only to be a summary of the law. Mr. Mr. Uh, Arthur, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot your name at the moment, but uh, he points out that uh, he, he, he reads the, the actual document and he reads it differently than the planning board reads it. Yet the voter is going to go into the booth and see merely that paragraph. He's not going to see the law that he's approving or disapproving. I mean, this is creating a certain degree of opaqueness, I think, is very detrimental to our government. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Uh, Mr. Jones's point well taken. I, I believe there's a requirement that that um, zoning ordinance appear in its entirety posted at the um, polling place, but it will not be on the actual ballot. So uh, if you're a voter, you need to look for that as you come in. If you haven't examined it before March 11th to look and read the entire text, because there's certainly uh, we've heard a difference of opinion as to what the uh, proposal uh, portends to do.